Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a simple coin magnet for your 2D game. Let's quickly set up our scene to see how it's done. First I add a grass for character to walk on, make it a bit bigger and add a box collider to it. Next game object is a cat. Set order in layer to 2, so cat is rendered in front of the grass. Add rigid body to D. Set gravity scale to 2, collision detection to continuous, freeze zero rotation. Add circle collider to D, which will help cat to walk. Edit it like that. Add another one circle collider, which will detect collisions with coins. Set it as trigger and edit it a bit like that. Next game object will be coin magnet. Create new empty one, rename it as coin magnet, letter casing is important, add circle collider to D, which I will set as trigger later. Coin magnet will be positioned through the script at the middle of the cat. Now let's add a coin. Set order in layer to 3. Add a tag coin to it, which can be created here in text section. Add rigid body to D and set it as kinematic, so coins will be stationary. Add circle collider to D. Now let's create simple UI coins counter. Create new canvas, set its scale mode as scale with screen size. Right-click on canvas and create new UI image. It will be coin icon. Drag and drop coin sprite into source image slot. Anchor it at the top center, holding Alt plus Shift keys. Double-click on coin image to get a focus on it. Rename it, shift it to the left a bit. Right-click on canvas again and create new UI text. It will be coin counter. Rename it. Anchor it at the top center as well and position it at the right side of the coin image. Modify its text options, font family, font size, font color. Let's make coin icon a bit smaller and rearrange these UI elements a bit. Like that. Now let's take a look at scripts. First one is cat script. Here we have rigid body, direction x and move speed variables to move the cat. Coins counter and coin magnet will be assigned in inspector to control those game objects. Coins number variable will hold the number of collected coins. In update method we assign direction x variable according to which arrow button is pressed and move speed value. Then we set coin counter text as coins number value converted to string. Then coin magnet position is set according to cat's position. So magnet follows the cat. And then if jump button is pressed then cat jumps. In fixed update method, cat is moved by passing a velocity to its rigid body. And then if cat collides with coin, then coin game object is destroyed and coin's number value is increased by 1, which is displayed by coin's counter UI element. That's it. Add the script to cat, select cat and drag and drop coin's counter and coin magnet game objects into corresponding slot of cat script. Next script is coin script. Here is a set of variables, which will help us to perform desirable functionality. First let's take a look at onTrigger enter to d method. So if coin collides with coin magnet, then we mark time when it happened, which will help us to increase coin speed gradually. Then get game object is assigned to get its position in update method. And once coin collides with coin magnet, it can start its movement towards the cat, so fly to cat variable is set to true. In update method, if fly to cat is true, then direction to cat game object is calculated every frame and velocity is added to coin's rigid body towards cat's position multiplied by 10, which is increasing every frame. That's it. Add the script to coin, select coin, duplicate it several times and position those coin clones as you wish. I forgot to set coin magnets collider as a trigger, so I do it now. Now we can hit play and see how it works. As you can see in scene view, when coin magnets collider touches the coin, then coin flies to cat, cat picks it up and number of coins is increased and is displayed by coins counter. Hope you like this tutorial, thank you for watching, see you next time.